Laura. Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited you've joined me today for another project. Thanks for hopping on. So we are back with another project and I feel like inking again. So we're going to do some mugs. We're going to do some coffee mugs because the cool thing about inking, if you saw when I made this shirt a couple weeks ago with our creative kickstart, once you heat set something that you've done in ink, you can wash it and it's permanent. So we're going to do these mugs and then you'll be able to heat set them in the oven. And how you heat set the, the mugs in the oven or anything else that's bakeable is to put them in a cold oven. Then you preheat the oven with them in there to 350. You're going to leave them at 350 for 30 minutes and then you let them all cool down with the oven. Just turn it off and let them sit there. You can let them sit there overnight or whatever. Before you pop them in the oven, you do want to make sure that they are completely dry and the ink has dried onto the surface before you pop it in the oven. So I usually leave them overnight or I'll use my craft dryer to be able to um, kind of dry them really quickly before I put them in the oven. But once you heat set something, it's permanent. So we're gonna do a couple of our beautifully rare minis today on these mugs. And I picked out four. Um, this one says coffee first, which is cute. This one says, like a boss. And these are all part of the beautif beautifully rare minis. And you can get these all, I think there's 12 in a page. So this is why hello. And then the last one is eat, sleep and hustle. So I just picked those out of, of the minis and we're gonna just keep it basic black and white ink here because these are all um, cups that have little speckles that are all kind of black and white. So they all go together like that. So let's go ahead and get started on our first one. And I'm thinking if I hold the mug like this, usually in my right hand, then typically the design is on the outside, right? On the outside edge. So kind of like there. Um, and so I'm going to kind of take my uh, other fuzz cloth here and create a little bit of a barrier to kind of rest my mug on. Let me do it in half, actually. There we go. So it kind of creates a little barrier to rest my mug on. Um, I've done similar things when I've etched glass before, kind of created a little cradle um, with the fuzz cloths or towels to be able to do that. Um, and let's go ahead and stir up our ink and get all that good. By the way, if you are new to my videos, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to sprinkle, share this video with your friends. I love to be able to show you guys how you can make quick and easy DIY home decor with our reusable silk screen, so the, can't even talk today, silk screen transfers, um, paste and ink. And then of course we have a variety of surfaces, like what you see behind me here, that you can use for your project. And I am almost out of black ink, but that's okay. We'll have plenty for this project. All right, so my ink is ready. Next thing, I'm going to fuzz the transfer when you're using it, especially on something like this that's more of a, um, like a glass or flat surface. You're gonna wanna really fuzz the transfer well. So we're gonna put it down well cut several times here. You're adding a little bit of lint to it so that it doesn't overly stick and then it's hard to remove and it kind of stretches your transfer. All right, so let's do eat, sleep, and hustle on this one. And I love the fact that the transfers are, see it's really stuck down there. I was trying to get an air bubble out. Um, I love the fact that the transfers are very flexible so they move oh, right around, right around the cup very easily. So we've got the transfer on. That looks pretty good for being centered there. Um, let's do the next one. I'm just going to put them all on first and then we'll do the inking. So see this one says why hello. And I will link these cups up in the description. I got them off of Amazon. They came in the four set so you can get them for yourself. Uh, or if you want to hop over to my home decor shop, my thinnest finished goods shop, I will have these four for sale. So if you want one for yourself and you don't necessarily want to make them, 
I sell almost all of my finished goods in my shop. So that's decor, D-E-C-O-R, dot shopwithlaura.com. So decor, dot shopwithlaura.com. So like a boss. And I think this is a, this comes in green, red, black, and white. So pretty nice little basic colors go with a wide variety of um, wide variety of decor, right? And like I just mentioned before, you can also use our transfers with etching on glassware and stuff like that too. So there's our like a boss. I may have to keep one of these for myself. <laughs> it won't be the coffee first one though, because this chick, this chick does not drink coffee. <laughs> Although I know I have a lot of coffee friends, but I do not drink coffee. So there's that, but I know it's popular, so we're doing it. I actually have another coffee transfer and it says a day without coffee is just, is like, just kidding, I have no idea. So it's kind of a funny one. All right, let's do the white on this one since it's right in front of me. We'll just grab some of the paste or some of the ink and I'm gonna move my squeegee around um, kind of sideways. Actually, I don't really need to have it propped up because it was really more to get the transfer centered on that. But here we go. So coffee first. Squeeze you off any of your excess paste, right? Just like a normal transfer project. And let's peel back our transfer and see how we did. Oh, that's cute. Super cute. These can be reused too, by the way, so you can make these for your friends or family. Look how cute that is. Coffee first. I love it. That's super cute. All right, let's put that one over here. Let's put that one over here so you guys can see it. And let's see, we're gonna do another white one here. I think they're gonna be all white except, um, except that white one will be black. So let's do this one, why hello. And again, we, I will then let these air dry overnight tonight, good, a good 24 hours or so. You really wanna make sure that they're super dry. And then put them in the oven, 350. So put them in a cold oven and then heat the oven to 350, 30 minutes at 350 and then leave them in the oven and they just cool down with it. And then you can take them out whenever. And then they are heat set and you can wash them. That's so cute. Why hello. Look at that one. Why hello. How cute is that? I love this. Okay, let's put that one here. And then let's do Trying to put them here so you guys can see them where I don't run into them. One, two, there we go. Ta da! All right, Eat Sleep Hustle, hustle up next. Eat Sleep Hustle. Eat Sleep Hustle. I like that one. Inking is fun. I really do enjoy doing the ink. I inked this shirt. Uh, a couple weeks ago when we were doing creative kickstart I've made shirts for my children I've made shirts for family members and have done a couple mugs before so again if you don't want to bother making your own just hop over to this shop and you can get this for yourself eat sleep hustle let me get out of the, out of the um Light. It's like puzzle. So cute. And one more. This time we're gonna go with black ink. So let me put this one away here. So 
So stay tuned tomorrow. I will post a picture here of all of them um, after they've gotten out of the heat setting out of the oven. So you guys can see them all up close and personal. You do want to make sure that you don't get your ink anywhere, by the way, because in this case, you could probably just wipe it right back off of your mug without a problem once it, it you, you know, like notice it. But especially when you're doing inking and you're doing like a shirt, you can't get the ink where it's not supposed to be, you know, then it's not good. All right, so squeegee off the excess like a boss. I like this one with a little crown on the top. It's cute. And let's take that off. And you always want to watch watch your hands. Like I have a little bit of white on my hands. It's not as important again with the mugs, but it would be important with fabric. So just an FYI. So there we go. There's our like a boss. And we've got our four adorable mugs that I can heat set. And there we go. So quick and easy project, guys. We've got Why Hello, Coffee First, Eat, Sleep, Hustle, and Like a Boss. Let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite? Boat colors, you know, do you like the white, the black, the green, or the red? Which one is your favorite? I'd love to hear below. Thanks for sharing, sprinkling the video. Thanks for joining me today. All of the links to everything you need are gonna be up in the description. I will put a link for these cups in case you're looking for this particular kind. Um, they're actually pretty generous size coffee cups, so it's really nice, um, good size, not weenie, <laughs> not weenie cups. Or visit my my store at decor, D-E-C-O-R dot chalkwithlaura.com and you can buy one of these for yourself if you would like to do it that way instead. Uh, join me next time on